In this video, we're gonna revisit a past project and give the front porch a refresh. We're gonna revisit the planter box, refresh the front surround, and we're gonna repaint the bricks. Let's get to today's project. Okay, we're gonna revisit a project I did almost two years ago. This was a pandemic project that I made from scraps to cover the surround around our porch. And a lot of the comments in the video were, did you seal it? I did seal it, but it was with a spray poly and I just did maybe two coats. I knew better. So let's fix past Lindsay's mistakes. These top boards have really seen better days. So I'm gonna just replace the top boards all together and we're gonna pressure wash everything else, see if we can bring this wood back to life. And if not, we'll go ahead and stain it. But I really am gonna make sure to seal it this time with a good marine varnish. That way it's water protected. So let's fix past Lindsay's mistakes and give this all a good refresh, especially since the front yard is getting a beautiful refresh. That's all you get to see for now of the front yard until that is live. But now let's focus on this front porch surround and give it a beautiful refresh. So I'm really impressed with how well the paint has held up on the brick, especially because this gets a lot of traffic flow and we don't have gutters. So when it rains here in California, which is rare, it comes straight down onto the brick, which has been just corroding away at the paint. So we're gonna touch up the paint on the bricks. We're also gonna give this planter box a refresh. The snake plant has actually done pretty well, even though there are some of these leaves that are burned, there's quite a bit of new growth, but it's getting a little too heavy, and I think we're gonna just change the vibe altogether, maybe do some succulents and some drought tolerant plants. So I'm gonna take this down so that way I can pressure wash it, clean it, and then we'll plant some new stuff in this planter box, as well as I'm gonna make another planter box that will hang on the outside of the front section, and that way we can put our address on it and and display some more plants. You know your girl loves some plants. So let's take this planter box out and give it a refresh as well. I also picked up some uh, address numbers so that I can put them on the front of the planter box which will display our address so the UPS drivers, the Amazon driver, and the mailman will actually know our address. Fun concept, huh? Hi. You like being able to hang out on the porch, huh? You like being able to come out here? Oh, here. There's a bunch of new little babies in here. Maybe we'll transplant this guy in the backyard. It gets a little more shade. I think it's gonna be easier if I just take this off. Plus, past Lindsay did kind of gnarly with the construction, so I think maybe we'll give this a little, a little refresh as well. I'll leave the gate on for now. Let's pull it. Whoop. Oh no, we might be getting a new front mat. <laughs> it's like disintegrating when I try to pull it up. Ugh. All right, well, that was not originally part of what I wanted to do. I was hoping it was just gonna come right up. Oh man. Well. Well, the front mat just disintegrated. It, I didn't realize it was gonna, I didn't think that was gonna happen. So, it's, this is a fun little project. Okay, well, now the front mat's up, definitely gonna have to do a lot more paint patchwork than I had anticipated. But I'm really excited about bringing this back to life. This is actually walnut. When I had to replace all this, I cut a thick piece of walnut, and I didn't really, like I said, seal this really well, but this is gonna pop once we pressure wash and put a nice coat of varnish on that. So let's get to pressure washing. Oh, that already looks a hundred times better. There's definitely some areas that I'm gonna need to sand. So I'm just gonna give this all a nice good sanding and sealing. I'm gonna replace the top boards because they just got some bowing to them and they've seen better days. So it's better to just replace the top boards. We're gonna sand all of this and then I'm gonna seal it with a marine varnish that'll really hold up to the weathering.
one coat of Halcyon. It doesn't look so bad. I'm actually pretty happy with it. We'll let this dry overnight. I'll give a second coat tomorrow. We'll build the planter box. We'll put the uh, cap pieces on top. We're looking good. Okay, I decided to go back and unscrew a couple of these boards and really give it a good sanding. I just didn't like how the dark coloration was. So now I'm gonna clean this up a little. We'll give it a second coat of Halcyon. I'll put the top boards back on that I've cut and we've put a nice coat of Halcyon on. So let's get to it. Okay, time for a refresh on the planter on the front porch. I'm gonna replant these snake plants in the backyard, but I wanna see if I can try and save the rock and the planter box, it's kind of busting at the seams, but uh, let's, let's break out this plant. Okay, so I have a couple of these bare areas in the backyard, see how lush it is over there, uh, that I think the snake plant will do great, it gets a lot of shade, and I think I'm gonna also pull a couple of these succulents to use in the front planter. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo. Pull those, plant these, and uh, keep moving right along with this project. Okay, now that I got the planter box open, let's plant some of Eric's favorite succulents, these flapjacks. I'm gonna split them up a little bit, plant them in there, and then we'll put it back in the planter box on the porch. So I removed a couple of these slats so that I could add another one by one. So I had a support for drilling into for the planter box. But I figured this is a perfect opportunity to show you what was behind here. It was like a metal rod railing situation um, that I covered up with wood. So. Let's finish covering it back up now that I have my two supports to drill in the planter box. Okay, now that the front porch planter box has been refreshed, let's finish off the planter box that's gonna go in the front with the address numbers. We have the little offset numbers. I also have a couple fun succulents. So let's drill some drain holes in the planter box and the container itself, and then we'll go fill it with some succulents and mount it in the front. Okay, time to fix the painted brick area where the mat was and the couple areas that have uh, gotten a little extra traffic. I'm gonna sand it down, give it a little bit extra area to adhere to. We'll use the uh, sample colors that we originally used for this project and then give it a nice coat of white over the top to make it all blend nicely. Let's get to it. All right, now that the bricks have all gotten a nice refresh and touch up paint, it's time to assess this bottom trim section. As you can see, that's how high the grass came up. We've gotten rid of all the grass sneak peek but uh, now we got to touch all that area up give it a nice coat of fresh white paint started right over here you can already tell the difference so let's finish off that bottom trim section okay let's now seal in the brick using the Olympic water guard the same seal that I used last time I just didn't keep up with it I'm sure that I should have just given more coats throughout the years cleaning it doing some touch up so let's uh, seal in what we've fixed and then we'll go pick up a new welcome mat I got a new front door mat. This time, with a little rubber backing. Uh, I doubt that this one's gonna disintegrate like the last one did. Looking good. The Halcyon has been holding up extremely well on this top board. We get a lot of moisture and morning dew, so that makes me so happy. Planters holding up well. Look at all that. I'm so pumped on how the front porch refresh has turned out. I'm glad that I was able to just pressure wash the front surround, give it a nice good seal to bring it back to life. I love the new planter boxes. They make me so happy. Having the address on the front just looks so good. And I love that the bricks was easily to just come back by giving a little bit of a touch up and sealing. All in all, this was a fun and quick project. Thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, until next time, friends, when we do another fun project together. Hey, what do you think of the new front porch refresh? You like it? You like the new mat? Yeah? <laughs>